that look like fun? Uh -huh. I like those swings. Cup, I guess. Mm -hmm. Showing the dishes. There's Lynette again. What is that? I don't know. Some fancy store, probably. Maybe John Barrow, 16 back in the great girls. And uh, maybe she was the smartest one in the class. Not even sixth grade with her. There's Bob Reedy. He was a very good reader. Just as you said, today you could not teach as that was done. And yet all those people got a good education. Oh, and they're watching it's, something. No, it's a reading corner. Oh, okay. It's a creek. And it was the prettiest place. The bluebells bloomed, you growing wild. Huh? That's not Dutton Park, is it? No, it's not Dutton Park. Can't think of where it was now, but it was not Dutton Park. The prettiest spot. That's Pete Bylander. No, Andy Bylander. They were twins. No, that's John Barrows. There's John Barrows, uh huh? She lives right in that same area. Some others? Those picnics were fun. We used to enjoy those. There he is. <laughs> Jimmy Bond is the fat kid in the class. Oh my god. Too bad we didn't have more in color, but we couldn't get color, I guess, earlier Not than this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the children are coming out of school again. School is an important part of our lives. Oh, you bet. That was one of the values in that day that Bob and Ellen dressed up for something. They certainly must have been going someplace. Ellen even with the hat on. <laughs> you both had hats. <laughs> Aunt Ned and Sonny and always had dogs. Beautiful dog. Mm -hmm. That's Uncle Bud and Aunt Violet. Uncle Bud in his naval uniform. He was a CB. Went to Hawaii and was involved with the chaplain's corps. Heavens, I don't know who all those babies are. No, that's not Manette. No, Aunt Violet. Oh. Same. My friend's babies. That's Manette. There's Manette, huh? -huh. Look how cute she was here, Lisa. She was an awfully cute child. Uh-huh. It's before that. Oh, that's our little pet blue jay. Or sparrow. Maybe that was the sparrow. I don't believe that's the blue jay. Anyway, it was a pet. Look at it, it's gold. <laughs> Davy Crambina was always clean. No matter what he did or how he played, he was immaculate. And all the other kids would get dirty. <laughs> Alan practicing boxing now. Now you have a bicycle. Quite a milestone kids learned to ride a bicycle. And this was a teepee we used to set up in the backyard, and you kids played and played and played with it. It was fun. Here's another picture of Uncle Bud before he went away. A very tragic thing happened to those two people. They had a printing business, and he was poisoned by the something in the printer's ink and died as a result of it, and they thought he had Alzheimer's disease. Subsequently, Violet came down with the same symptoms, and some doctor tracked it down to this uh, mm -hmm. poisoning from whatever was in that printer's ink. Be too, I suppose this is Craig Hitchcock. That's where Craig came from. That's where Craig came from. Well, Who was he? He was a soldier, a he flyer. He lived across the street. When no, he lived.
next door to us on College Avenue. And he was a B-17 pilot in the war, Lisa. He used to fly over the house and buzz us when he went over. Probably lose his stripes today. <laughs> See how much bigger that blue spruce tree is now in this picture? See, it's getting bigger. Getting bigger, uh-huh. Aw, oh, that's cute. Appreciate.